Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I want to talk about Mediator and about whether Mediator is overkill to use in your .NET project. And I'm going to go even beyond that. This post over here on Reddit was made 18 hours ago and the question is I'm wondering if Mediator pattern with clean architecture is an overkill for a simple application, for example, mocking the Ticketmaster API. So I'm not going to limit myself in this video just on the mocking or just in specifically this question. Instead, I'm going to go beyond that. But I will say for something like this, this is definitely overkill. In fact, if you want to mock an API for testing, just use something like WireMock. Proxy the API through WireMock and then save all those requests locally and run just that simple WireMock API for your integration tests or acceptance tests. and it will do fine. You don't have to even build an application for any of this. It can be automatically generated for you. But I'm going to go beyond that because it talks about performance over here, right? And is Mediator problematic for performance? Now, if you run some benchmarks, Mediator is, of course, more slow than a source generated version of Mediator or just you calling into the service themselves instead of just adding an extra layer. The counter argument of this is abstraction. You're just decoupling a layer of your application into something else. The counter argument of the counter argument is that now you're just adding an extra layer that I quite honestly don't think you need. So your API handling, for example, can have request to domain object and then call whichever services you need and then just revert it back to a DTO and return it back as a response object. It's very simple. I don't understand why you would need Mediator for any of that. It just sounds like a fake step that you would add to decouple something that isn't really decoupled because you think you should not do something on the API handling method. But the truth is, that's why that API handling method is there. If you're not supposed to have any logic on that handler, then we wouldn't have the handler. We would call the service. And in fact, that's why popular libraries like Fast Endpoints benefit from that logic and they implement the mediator logic directly in them, which is still my recommendation for today. You should be using, especially if you're doing minimal APIs, but I think even controllers, fast endpoints, that model can replace everything you have and not make you feel like you're doing something wrong. Now, I was introduced into a team that was doing clean architecture with Mediator all the way back in 2017. So I've used Mediator at scale for both big and small projects, and it has its pros and cons, especially around all the things you can have with like pre and post pipelines. It's, it's chef's kiss. It's amazing. However, nowadays with middleware and minimal APIs and everything that has come after all that, you don't really need it. You can add a lot there. And it's not even just about middleware. You can actually have a lot of that decoration logic on the services themselves with libraries like Scrooter or your own custom written sort of decorators through dependency injection. So we've evolved so far that Mediator, in my opinion, doesn't really make sense anymore at least not for my projects. Now, I do want to take a look at the comments. And this first one is actually from Jimmy Bogart, the person who made Mediator. And the comment says, model of thumb is around 20 endpoints or more as a command dispatcher mediator. Doesn't have to be mediator, like fast endpoints has its own thing, which is the one I recommend. Or if you're in a message library already, you don't need it. Mass Transit, Send Service Bus, Wolverine, and all of the others. So I 100% agree with Jimmy, even on the 20 endpoints or so, I don't know if it really makes sense. You should definitely not be using controllers, in my opinion. But even if you go minimal APIs, it will still look bloated to have all of these hanging methods. So in my opinion, if you want to use Mediator for API processing, just do yourself a favor and use fast endpoints directly. It is an excellent library. It's very, very performant and will feel like you're doing mediator level processing without needing to add an extra step, which not only just will reduce performance, but it will also make it really hard to debug your code because without extensions and so on, it's really hard to step into a method after you do send with mediator and naturally debug into the handler. It just doesn't happen because it goes through this dictionary that matches your request to that handler. So. It just simplifies life like significantly. Another comment is I work for a small company and we use Mediator. We have small APIs, so it's sort of incredible amount of overkill for our use case. I agree. If you only have 10 endpoints, 15 endpoints, those are very, very small APIs. They're very easy to navigate, very easy to debug. 
I don't see the point of using Mediator. I think in general in .NET, we have this abstraction fetish that we really, really need to abstract the abstracted and keep adding layers and layers because we think we create a path to success, but we just add complexity and reduce performance for no specific reason other than to look at it and say, oh, this looks amazing. And I was in that camp for a long time. But once you start building simpler code, you understand that you don't actually need all of those layers. At least that's where I stand. And not everyone will agree with this. That's totally understandable. If you like Mediator, by all means, keep using it. And if you do like it, please leave a comment down below letting me know why you like it. And if you don't like it and stopped using it, please also leave a comment down below letting me know why you just don't like it and stopped using it. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep coding.